everybody, this is your boy Don Carlito with DCP and Y Photography. So today we are going to cover my review on what I call one of the best 85 millimeter lenses, a 1.4 lens, which is manual focus. So yeah, I've tried basically the Nikon, the autofocus, and I've tried many other 85s. But this by far, I love it because it helps me practice on my manual style of shooting. Um, I do portrait photography, and I sometimes do commercial product photography, and this lens, by far, is an amazing lens. I mean, the glass on it is amazing. The bokeh you get from this lens is amazing. This has the automatic confirmation chip on it, so even though it doesn't autofocus, I can manually focus, and my camera lets me know exactly when I'm pinpoint sharp onto the subject or whatever I'm taking a photo of. It's a great lens compared to any of the other like autofocus lenses, Nikon, Canon, this lens automatically is like half the price or maybe almost maybe a little bit under half the price. So you can find this on Amazon sometimes for about 400 bucks, 300 bucks um, used and new, maybe a little bit of 400 up to $500 new on Amazon, which I might provide a link below. But just to give you a quick tip on this one, I'm gonna be including some photos that I actually took with this lens, so that way you see the different details, and basically you can see the quality of the lens so far. So if you're looking for a good manual lens, I mean, if unless you're doing sports photography or you're doing photography that you have to be constantly auto-focusing, if you have the time and you can manual focus, you should definitely try this lens. I mean, and if you're in a budget, because I mean, if price is no option, then I understand if you go for an auto, you know, an autofocus 85 1.4, but if you're basically on a, not on a budget, but if you're budget friendly, if you're basically don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a lens, but you want a great quality lens, you should definitely invest in the Rokinon 85 1.4. And not only Rokinon makes it, I know there's different uh, brands such as uh, Samyang, which was a previous model, uh, previous uh, brand that actually makes this also. I know Vivitar makes it, Bauer makes it, and they're all the same lens. So whichever one, and sometimes if you type in one of the other names that you rarely hear like Bauer, you might be able to get uh, less price sometimes because it might not be as much in demand as like the Rokinon brand is. I've seen sometimes in Amazon where I see a price difference on it just because of that. So I would definitely check it out. Definitely try to see how, how it works for you. If you have the time, I mean, if you're doing professional photography, you should always learn to shoot manual. I mean, autofocus is a good thing, especially if you're in a pinch, you're in a wedding or something like that. But if you're doing portraits, you have less than a couple, you know, if you have less than five to 10 seconds that you can go ahead and just readjust and manually focus, this is a great lens to have. And you'll see other reviews on YouTube as well that definitely gives kudos and that gives this uh, lens a great review. But this is just my review for it. I'm gonna include some images also so you can see a little bit of my work with this lens and you can see what this lens can do. So uh, hope you enjoyed this review. It's a short and sweet review. Don't wanna take up much of your time. But if you can, please give me a like. We are starting this YouTube channel now and we like to bring more content into this and we would like your support. So definitely subscribe, give us a like and show some love. Thank you. I hope you guys all are doing well and God bless and good night. Ciao.